so there's usually this question i've heard people ask and it's not just people asking i have also asked what is the difference between a workstation and your everyday pc they look the same they have the same processors in them they have the same ram the same um storage and so on and so forth so what really is the difference and why does the workstation cost even almost what times two or times three the price of your regular um, system this can be pretty much more noticeable when you're comparing laptops workstations versus game um game laptop gaming laptops you'd realize that gaming laptops have all that you know fancy specs and um, they probably are even um, much more higher than the workstation but the workstations cost a lot more well the simple answer in my own little research the simple answer i would give you is that for workstations you get reliability for gaming systems or most of your other systems you get just about enough power maybe not just about enough because you could actually also overclock um, most of those computers you get raw power to do stuff on one side and on the other side you have reliability now the question is what would you need reliability for when i have all that power to to run with right a lot of power could run you mad okay so let's 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 define it if i'm using a gaming laptop i have all those high specs um you know the ram the the, the um graphics card and all that which gives me enough room which gives me enough room to even overclock it if i want to overclocking really allows you to even get more juice uh, from your system now what you get with all that is yes you're able to perform um, functions on most of um, your applications and i'm not just talking about gaming because that's not why i'm doing this or that's not why i'm talking about this i'm talking about gaming inclusive of every other thing especially work and when i'm talking about work i'm talking about people in the media um, field uh, cad um, simulations you know gaming and so on and so forth game design actually so um you have all that power to work and while having all that power you know you, you are even crazy about having more power and you sort of like overclock your system and everything but what you might tend to have over time you might not experience too much of it it's not a guarantee that you will run into those problems but you will tend to have crashes blue screens um, you tend to have systems that are not particularly well built and talking about really plasticky system i enjoyed my nitro back in the days but i can guarantee you i hated the fact that it was built it was made of plastic <sighs> horrible anyway you would realize they are poorly made you would also um, not have support if you really called any of this application um, support like um, say autodex for example and um, you're trying to make some complaints about um, what is going on in your application and why you cannot manage to um, work efficiently with it i'm not quite sure they will give you the attention um, you expect because you are not making use of um, is it an authorized no not an authorized system a recommended um, computer to work they expect you to be working on a workstation if you're an office um, offices also we expect you to buy workstations for your workers to produce you know kind of like putting giving them the right tool um, to work and um, what more can I say let's see let's see let's see let's see um, yeah support and I think gaming system can be quite noisy too and that's just my opinion and I, 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 might, I might be wrong you might not agree with me but yeah gaming systems can be quite noisy and that's as a result of you um, trying to juice out more power from the system and the fans increase to meet up with um, cooling um, you know those processors um, in the system i mean both your cpu and your graphics card now i'm saying this generally on the side of both laptops and desktops when you have a gaming system all those things are the kind of things that you know you will experience using those kind of um, computers now on the other hand when you use a system that is called a workstation or that is designed to be a workstation and i think the primary um the primary companies that really known brands that produce that would be lenovo um, dell and um, hp those are kind of like primary big companies that uh, produce um, workstations i'm not quite sure if others do but yeah i'm sure other people create dedicated workstations but the point is they um with their 
years of experience creating business machines and workstations. They create really solid um, um, workstations. I'm a Dell person. I love Dell computers. And um, when you have um, such computers, what you have basically is one, a well-built computer. And I'm not just talking about the chassis of the computer. I'm talking about internally. The motherboards are well built. I, I don't know if you've, uh, if you or you know anyone that has ex ex experienced um, a, a simple burnout from your motherboard because maybe you know it wasn't uh, well produced or cheaper materials were used to produce such um, such laptops. Um, you have well built system both externally and internally. You have good support when you call um, most of this. Um, 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 vendors support if you have issues um, with your work um, applications maybe that justifies the amount of money you're paying for that work uh, workstation you have to decide really but yeah um, the it, it's a little bit slower it's more reliable it's more steady so that it's controllable um, than when it's just running full um, full throttle on the other side and it you know just it crashes on you and it, it, it comes back on when you're working on a workstation these things and I'm not saying they don't crash, and I'm not saying they don't, you know, go compute once in a while, but the truth is they rarely do that. On the workstations, maybe not all of them, especially the ones that carry Xeon processors and some type of other processors, even within the AMD um, lineup, you have processors that allow you to have ECC. So the processor supports ECC, the RAM supports ECC, and that's uh, basically error checking. So when there's an error that is about to occur, the system is allowed to check itself within the memory quickly and try as much as possible to correct itself before the error um, works. My desktop right here, it, has, it doesn't have ECC, but I have experienced situations where applications get frozen for a couple of seconds, then come back on. If that happened on my previous gaming system, I would have to turn off or I would have to force quit the, the application and bring it back on. But the graphics card on the workstations are also different. They're also different because the same concept basically, reliability. I think using a workstation for work is the best way to go. I think you could buy something that is within at least two, three generations back. They will still perform really well, really, really well actually. And you would get um, good value um, for, your money, for your money over time. So um, that's it between workstations and gaming machine. Hope this informed you in any way. Um, if you have a different opinion from everything I have said so far, kindly drop it in the comment section. I really love to hear your side of the whole uh, thing, and especially from those that have uh, made use of um, these things for quite a very long time. All right, so um, till next time, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and um, yeah, later.